A huge crowd at the North Florida Fairgrounds this weekend for a gun show. This in the middle of the national gun control debate. Good evening. I'm Jade Valexa. Thank you for watching WTXL ABC 27 News Weekend Edition. The event featured concealed weapons classes and more than 200 tables displaying all sorts of items, including guns, ammunition, and accessories. Sold a lot of Ruger handguns this weekend, uh, personal protection style guns, um, some of the collectible military type guns, AR-15s and AKs, those kind of guns sold as well. Business owner Eddie Monk says guns are flying off his shelves, but the manufacturers are struggling. Sandy, Hurricane Sandy messed up the um, Henry factory in New York. So the Henry factory shut down. Well, that took all of the lever action rifles out of circulation. So Rossi, the other company that makes the lever action guns, can't keep up. He says that, coupled with talks of gun control, including restricting certain types of weapons, people are rushing out to buy guns. The availability has just dried up. There are no guns available at the wholesale. Whatever we sell this weekend is really hard to replace next week. Monk says a big part of his business comes from gun shows like this one, the Victor Bean Southern Classic Gun and Knife Show. In the future, and they don't know what the price might be, so people are buying them now uh, for a couple of reasons. Investment, they think the price may go up, and availability might not be there. But he says before you buy, do your research. Be diligent and make sure that you're, you're informed. And um, I wouldn't necessarily run out and buy something on a panic buy. Um, make sure that you're informed and, and, and buy things that are appropriate for you. In Tallahassee, Jade Belexa, WTXL ABC 27, dedicated to you. The Victor Bean Gun Show will be back at the fairgrounds in March.